At the beginning of your self-growth journey, you might be chasing the secret of success, wondering what is the one trait that separates all high performers from the average person. And in my opinion, it's not a secret. And it comes down to just one thing that anyone can do right now, today. What's up you guys, Alex Hine here over at Modern Health Monk, author of the book, Master the Day. So before we jump into this video, I've put together a free journaling worksheet to help you figure out what your dream life is and design that going forward so you can be more successful. It's the first link right below this video. You'll also get a couple emails on how to use journaling to design your dream life. So check it out. Why do people succeed or fail in life? Obviously, this is a question that has puzzled people for thousands of years. It has spawned a whole industry, a success magazine, and there's all kinds of business publications dedicated to talking about success. But I have a simple story that I think will illustrate a point that you won't forget. When I moved back from living in China about 12 years ago at this point, I was in my early 20s, and I'd moved back in with my parents because I didn't know what to do next. I didn't have much money saved, I had no friends, I had no job prospects, and I had no job, right? I mean, it was one of the lowest points of my life purely because I was starting over, right? No friends, I had my family, I had my health, but I had no direction. And around that time, I ended up putting together a little mastermind group of three or four people. And those three or four people were people that I had selectively cultivated because they were driven and they wanted to improve their life. Now, part of this mastermind was that every single week on Thursday mornings, we would have a call and we would talk about our goals and our aspirations. And in that group were three other people, one woman and two other guys. Now, the woman and I were the two most driven, right? We had been driven for a long time. We were actively taking those steps towards our goals. We were really, really working hard on making our dreams a reality. And those are the people I wanted to be around because ultimately a lot of people will say they're ambitious or say they want to work towards their goals and they never do. But she was. So we were a great match in terms of friends for this mastermind. Now there was another guy and there were really two other guys in there. And one other guy was really impressing me because he had all these great ideas and he would say, you know, oh, I've got another million dollar idea today. And I was too much of a rookie and too much of a new uh, entrepreneur to know that Really, he wasn't doing much on a day-to-day -day basis, but he certainly had a lot of good ideas. Now, as time went on, after three months or six months or a year, you know, I had made maybe $2,000 that entire year in my business, right? Because at the time, the point of us creating this mastermind was that we all wanted to become entrepreneurs. Even if we had full-time jobs or part-time jobs or whatever it was, we wanted to become entrepreneurs. And after a year, I had only earned $2,000. So I wasn't gonna be quitting the little crappy day job I had up until that point. But the other guy seemed like he was doing quite well and he kept talking about these ideas and the business he was working on as if he was really doing things. Now, flash forward and fast forward about three years. Well, after three years, I just quit my job, my full-time job, and I wasn't making much. It was about two and a half thousand dollars a month, but you know what? The two and a half thousand was enough to pay my $800 a month rent and feed myself. I knew I wasn't gonna starve. And then I could work all day on my business and work all day towards my goals and towards my dreams. But the crazy thing was that after those three years, I had quit my job and this guy still hadn't even earned $1 in the three years. And all this time, I thought he had been building a business, I thought he'd been doing well, I thought he was really changing his life and really doing something. And years later, he's still exactly where he was. Now, this story illuminated one of the most powerful lessons in my life, which is that the most successful people, most of the time, don't possess hidden knowledge. They don't possess necessarily some supreme God-given work ethic. But one thing they cultivate as a habit is that they go from idea to action a hundred times faster than the average person who may wait their whole damn lives to write a book, who will wait 20 years to start a business, who will wait years and years and years to ask that attractive person out. But successful people most often tend to be doers and tend to be action takers. So I wanna issue a 30 day challenge for you because this video does not contain some long prescriptive advice for what to do in your life but it does contain a simple piece of wisdom that has helped me. The people who succeed in life, whether it's finding love or 
saving money so they can actually travel or be financially secure or getting that raise don't necessarily possess something secret or special, but they do something every day and they are gritty over time. So they possess a very specific drive to go from, I've been thinking about asking out that woman at the coffee shop for a year to, you know what, I like that girl, I'm gonna come in tomorrow and ask her out. May not work out, but I'm gonna ask her out. To, you know what, my neck has been killing me for 10 years, instead of waiting to maybe do yoga or hire a chiropractor or get acupuncture, you know what, today, I'm gonna to start doing yoga 20 minutes every single morning and focus on stretching the upper back. It may be, I've been so overworked and underpaid for 10 years and I've never gotten a raise to, you know what, I'm gonna sit down with my boss today and ask her, what do I need to do to get a raise or get paid an extra $20,000? What skills do I need? Who do I have to work with? What team do I need to be on? Because that person, after a year, is gonna completely change their life in a way that no one else could ever see. And they don't need to have something special or something different. The only different thing is that they cultivated the habit of taking very quick action. So I'm gonna leave you with this here today. One unbelievably underrated success habit is how quick can you go from having a thought about how you wanna change your life to actually doing something every single day. That is one of the greatest success hacks that is the most overlooked. All right guys, so download the free journaling worksheet. It'll help you figure out what you want and how you define success and how to have an incredible life going forward. And I'll catch you in the next video.